Crossings is a community of people passionate about the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Across the globe, you'll find folks in our community who are committed to hearing and sharing the promise that Jesus meets sinners at the cross. We partner with both laity and clergy, equipping others for their indispensable work in sharing the cross of Christ. Bottom line, we want people to make use of Jesus, not only on Sunday mornings, but every day in their personal and vocational lives. Crossings is a publication organization that focuses on writing and speaking. We write and speak everywhere people read and listen, online, in print, and at annual conferences. We employ a host of writers and speakers who are committed and highly capable in interpreting the scriptures through a law gospel lens. And that is why we need your support to maintain this ministry. Crossings is a tool that we use to understand Christianity. Most importantly, it's given me a different lens to which I can look primarily at, uh, at scripture in my daily readings, in, uh, in, in how I, um, I hear the word of God. But it's also helped me look at, uh, look at people and look at things differently too. It's become such a way of life for me. Uh, just, I automatically interpret everything that goes on um, through that Crossings lens. As Crossings continues into the next generation, we seek to follow the example of our founders by pounding the pavement again. Only this time, we will utilize the spaces of the 21st century where so many of the baptized are gathering, online, on social media, and outside the church. That has provided this really rich platform uh, and really reliable way of encountering scripture and opening up the Bible in preaching and teaching, um, and even just in the life of faith. What I find intriguing about it uh, as a pastor is that it's, it's a new way of looking at scripture, particularly if you're, per, if you're preparing for a sermon. I've enjoyed the interaction and, and, the, and the, the deep theological thought uh, in our conversations, in our comments, uh, in, in discussions we've had, around, we've had around the table. We are reaching more people than ever through our annual conferences, a steady stream of email publications, an updated print newsletter, a focused social media presence, and a YouTube channel featuring our professionally produced video series. And we're seeing an increased activity across all of these channels. And it encourages us to dream bigger. Crossings is perhaps most valuable to young people. If you're talking about pastors, it's most valuable to people earlier, early in their pastoral careers. I have uh, personally benefited from the scholarship that's offered through the Crossings community. I uh, attended first as a seminary student and it is free and that is a very good price for seminary students. What brought me to this conference was uh, they have scholarships for first call pastors. So our funds for continuing education are somewhat limited. So the fact that they offered scholarships made it possible for me to attend this conference. So I'm really grateful for that and that scholarship is what brought me here. I don't think that I would have been able to come if I if, if it wasn't um, free to come. And it was definitely an incentive too, to say, hey, not only is this a really important topic, but you can have a free experience doing it. We would also like to develop online learning experiences, such as Bible studies and courses in theology. To learn about the six, the six step process, you know, understanding the role of law and gospel, you know, which is a part of the Crossings Method, if not the foundation of the Crossings Method, I thought has really opened my eyes in a different way. Sitting, listening, and it's, if you're going to do it well, your brain is going to be thinking an awful lot. And that's tiring work, but it's good work. This has helped my preaching tremendously. Uh, every week I read the, uh, co the commentary and I often will try to cross the text myself in preparation for um, my sermon. Because of the generosity of longtime Crossing supporters, we are well on our way to establishing an endowment fund that will have generational impact. But we need your help into securing its future. With your support, we can invest in technology and the highest levels of writing to reach through the noise and equip all the baptized for their indispensable work. My hope for Crossings is that it will be able to somehow cut through all the other chatter that's out there. Because when the word gets out there, uh, I've seen the Spirit work with that. 
and make a difference for people. I don't think that God or the gospel is dependent upon our efforts to keep it alive. It's good for us, but it's good for the church and the world as well. We are confident in our ability to reach more people than ever because we are confident in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we invite you to share in our determination to proclaim this promise to future generations of baptized believers. I don't think there's any more important work than equipping people to proclaim the gospel. And the world is changing and we need to pass this, what I consider to be a great gift to the, to the church and its mission, onto younger people, to a new generation. It's time to pass the baton. Visit crossings.org, click on donate, and support the message of crossing the gospel with our daily lives.